Good morning. Good Monday. Well, we're going to uh, be in Matthew chapter 10 starting today. And really this, uh, similar to the Sermon on the Mount, not as long, but this is one of the longer sections, this chapter of Jesus giving instruction and discourse and teaching. Um, but the beginning of the chapter comes right on the heels of what we looked at Thursday at the end of chapter 9, which I just want to remind you what Jesus said to end chapter 9. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into the harvest field. So remember, we talked about Jesus calling um, for us to pray for workers to answer the need of people who are ready to respond to Christ. Immediately after that, Matthew tells us this is what happens in, in chapter 10, verse 1. Jesus called his 12 disciples to him and gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. These are the names of the 12 apostles. First, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, son of Deb Zebedee, and his brother John. Philip and Bartholomew, Nath Nath excuse me, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector. James, son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These twelve Jesus sent out with the following instructions. Now tomorrow we're going to begin looking at the instructions he gave. But I want us to focus right now is, is, is where we ended on Thursday. The harvest is plentiful. People are ready to respond. And Jesus says, pray to God that more people would be sent. But immediately, as he says, pray to God, what does Jesus do? He sends out the twelve. You see, it's not enough to simply pray for workers, but to be one of the workers. To go as we pray. To work for Jesus as we hope and look for more to be a part of the work. I also want us to see here in the list of this, these 12, the 12 apostles, that there's not superheroes that Jesus is sending. These are everyday average people from all kinds of backgrounds. Peter, James, John, and Andrew are fishermen who left everything to follow Jesus. Matthew is a tax collector, reviled and hated by the Jewish people, used and abused by the Romans. We have Simon the Zealot, essentially a religious radical who was willing to murder for the sake of his faith. The best contemporary definition of Simon is a religious terrorist. Judas called Iscariot who Matthew reminds us, he's the one who betrayed Jesus. And then the others we don't know as much about. We know Thomas the doubter. We know others. We don't know where they came from or who they are. Jesus calls ordinary men and women to not just pray for the harvest, not just pray for people to go, but to go themselves. Go Proclaiming the kingdom of God and the power of Jesus. Go so that others might hear and respond because the harvest is plentiful. People are waiting to hear the good news and waiting to say yes to Jesus. They simply need to be told. Heavenly Father, I pray that as we pray for workers, as we look at your harvest fields, we would simply go. Go and work. Go in your power. Go proclaiming your message. Whatever background, whatever sins, whatever problems, wherever we are, wherever we're from, that we would go in faithfulness to you for your glory and for the salvation of your lost people. We love you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen.